Hey, 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 what is up ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another feeding video. So today we will be feeding our little babies. So these specimens are the little ones. So we're gonna start off with the Androctonus Morotanicus. So let's see what I can get for it. All right, I got a decent sized mealworm. Let's see how it reacts. And oh! Wow, that was kind of fast, and it's out of frame. Oh well. But still, that was a very good takedown. Impressive. The Androcnus Martanicus. So with that, let's move on to the next specimen. Right up next, we have the Parabutus Schlatheri, the Borrowing Thick-Tailed Scorpion. This one seems relatively chongous, but... You know, Parabutas, they like to eat quite a bit, so let's see if it would like a meal today. Alright, so this Turkestan root should be right about good size, and... Whoa! Oof, it's a headshot to the roach! And... Wow, look at the venom taking effect so quickly. Dang, Parabuthus. Can't mess with them. Alright, with that done, let's move on to the next specimen. Right up next, we have the Ceratogyrus Marshali Sling. So this one is going to be an interesting feeding video because it has refused food a couple of times, so it's a little bit small. So let's see if uh, Turkestan would do. Ooh. Beautiful takedown. Dang! I knew you were hungry, but why did you refuse food earlier? <laughs> right up next, we have the Hot and Tota, Hot and Tota. I know for a fact this one will definitely eat, so let's give it a decent sized mealworm. There we go, there we go. The wonderful Hatentota Hatentota has performed the flippy flip. Gotta love them flippy flips. <laughs> Proceeds to give us a sideward flip. <laughs> that mealworm is not giving up. Anyhow, that mealworm is gonna. Let's move on to the next specimen. Right up next, we have the Ternoculus murinus, also known as the Orange Baboon Tarantula. So, this is a decently sized juvenile. So, we shall give it an adult Turkestan roach because. This one just came out of a mold like a couple of weeks ago, so it's time to give it a Chungus Roach. Now let's see how it reacts to- Oh my! My goodness, these guys are scary fast. Really scary. <laughs> but you gotta love the colors and your attitude. The spunkiness is what catch- uh, The spunkiness is just like beautiful. Even though it's so spunky, but you know, it's a beautiful specimen because of that. Anyways, let's move on to the next specimen, shall we? Right up next, we have the Teleotocatol albopolosus. So... I know this guy is definitely gonna eat because it's wandering around and looking for food. This mealworm and oh, what the? What an absolute clown. <laughs> Why are you going after the tweezers? You're not supposed to go after the tweezers. The, the worm is down there. Come on, let go. Come on. Come on. Come on, get off. There we go. Alright, alright. Alright, for attempt number two, let's see. I'm pretty sure it's not gonna eat because it has already been flipped upside down with the tweezer. So, 
we shall just crush the head of the mealworm and let it go there. Let's go on to the next specimen then. Right up next, we have the Gramostola puteri. And uh, yeah, I know this one's gonna eat, but it's a bit reluctant at times. But hey, there we go. Gentle takedown. Very gentle takedown. <laughs> interesting. Very interesting. Not that common for a, uh, sorry, a puteri. But anyhow, let's go on to its cousin, the next specimen. Right up next, we have the Gramostola rosea. I know for a fact this guy's going to eat because I haven't fed this little fella, so I'm going to give it a decent sized Turkestan roach. Huh? What a joker. Why would you do that? Why, why, why are you running out of the enclosure? Come on, the roach is right there. Are you chasing after a roach? Or are you just running away from the roach now? What are you doing? Roach is behind you. Go grab it. Get there we go. Finally. Ooh hoo hoo hoo. Well, that roach has seen better days. <laughs> Beautiful takedown. Beautiful takedown. Although a little bit clumsy in the initial part, but hey, let's move on to the next specimen, shall we? Right up next, we have the Nandu Tripepii. So as you can see, it molted out like a couple of weeks ago. So pretty sure it's a bit hungry. <laughs> so let's give it a adult Turkestan roach and let's see its reaction to it. With my uncontrollable strength crushing the roach halfway through, I'm pretty sure that this roach won't live to see another day anyway, so might as well <laughs> just coax it towards the tripepii. Dang, that was fast. That was actually quite scary fast. <laughs> Just like the OBT. But Nandus, great eaters. Look at that. And they're also very fluffy. <laughs> Anyways, let's move on to the next specimen. Right up next, we have another Nandu tripepii. But this one at the initial uh, run of the Turkestan, it doesn't seem to react. Let's see how it reacts after the... Oh! It's right there. It's right behind you. Come on. Come on. Don't disappoint me. Come on. Oh, come on. Aren't you at least gonna try... There we go. Hey! Oof, right at the head. Oh, that roach is a confirmed goner. Ah, next specimen. So right up next, we have the Tiliotokotol verdesi. Unfortunately, I will not be feeding them on camera because they are too tiny and I am going to have to cut up some mealworms for them to enjoy because I do not have Turkestan nymphs at the moment, so we won't be able to see any takedowns unfortunately but hopefully sooner or later i can recover my colony all right ladies and gentlemen we have come to the end of this feeding video so you guys know the drill if you guys enjoyed the video smash that like button and to those who are new to the channel welcome to invits paradise if you're interested in these kind of feeding videos husbandry videos rehousing unboxings and sooner, we, sooner or later, we're going to start with the species reviews and also like beginner species for scorpions, top 5 beginner species. And also, in regards to that, 
Ladies and gentlemen, we have reached the milestone of 500 plus subscribers. If it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't have made this reach this milestone. I appreciate every single one of you who have subscribed to this channel. And as promised, I will deliver on the face reveal. For matter of fact, actually, since we are on the topic of face reveal, comment down uh, any questions you'd like to ask about Inverts Paradise or about any scorpions in general. I will uh, be undergoing the face reveal with an actual Q&A uh, session. So comment down below for what questions you have and what would you like to ask me and I will do my best to answer in my, you know, the best possible way and to the best of my knowledge. So with that, you guys know what to do. Comment down, be comment down below any questions you'd like to ask and I will, as I said, answer to my, to my best of my abilities and yeah. So with that, Inverts Paradise would like to say thank you for watching Inverts Paradise. Yeah, out!